Okay, so in these problems, we're looking at more examples of inequalities. When you're solving for x in inequality, do everything as you would when you're balancing equations, except if you find yourself multiplying or dividing by a negative value, switch the direction of the sign. So we're going to switch direction, right, of this sign right here. So if it's facing the left and it's opening to the left, you switch the direction and open it to the right. When multiplying or dividing by a negative value. And what I'll say about that, just imagine if you have three greater than two. This is true, but if you multiply both sides by negative two, you get negative six and negative four. Which one's greater now? Well, now negative four is greater, right? So we switch that direction. The idea is that you took a positive value, which is further from zero, and when you multiply it by a negative value, it's still further from zero, but now it's less. The two is closer to zero and less in the positives, but in the negatives, when it's closer to zero, right, it's higher in value. Think about a number line, three, two, one, zero, negative one, negative two, negative three. You know, here's negative two, negative three, negative one, zero, one, two, three. Okay, so here in this case, if I start with two versus three, right, and I multiply by negative one, two becomes negative two, oops, sorry. Two becomes negative two here, right? And that's negative two. And three becomes negative three. So three travels to distance further from zero, but that makes it more negative. Two travels to a distance that's closer to zero. And to begin with, that means it's less, but then when you get into the negatives, that closer to zero distance means it has a higher value. So keep that in mind when you're solving these. And, and here with negative 6x minus 17 greater than or equal to 8x plus 25, decide you know, what side do you want your variables to go on. I'm going to choose the right-hand side because I know that this negative 6x, if I add it, right, that'll give me a positive value to work with. And then if I subtract 25 on both sides, I'll bring my numbers to the left. These cancel out. What is 8x and 6x? It's 14x. Negative 17 minus 25 is like 17 plus 25, except negative. So that's negative 42, right? And it's greater than or equal to 14. Divide both sides by 14, and x is less than or equal to um, negative 3, right? So here we're looking for a value x is less than or equal to negative 3, which is choice number 4. It's just written uh, in the reverse order. Okay.